What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over hats by Thunaton. If y'all know me, y'all know I'm all about my hats. Uh, this plugin basically focuses on hi-hats. Um, so it's all about creating nice hi-hat patterns, rhythms, and doing different things with hi-hats. So if you struggle with hi-hats, this might be the plugin for you. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see, but let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, it takes up a lot of real estate because you can do a lot with the plugin, but don't be worried because you can come over here and change the size of the GUI. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make it 80 so I can put my ugly face over here. Um, so as you're looking at the plugin, um, it does a whole lot. So it's got reverb, it's got delay, um, it's got bit crusher, it's got overdrive for that. It's got a high pass and a low pass. Um, it's got gain, you can tune the hi-hats, it's got width for the hi-hats. Um, and then you can go over here and you can do like a gain designer. So you can do, um, you know, basically step sequence your gain. It's got a pitch designer so you can make the hi-hats pitch up and pitch down. Um, it's got a pan designer so that you can basically uh, design how you want the hi-hats to pan back and forth. Um, and it also has a filter designer so you can, you know what I'm saying, throw a filter on the hi-hats and it has a bunch of different um, filter types that you can use as well. Um, so that's pretty nice. Down here at the bottom, you see it has different divisions, it has different patterns. So if I was to push one of these divisions, you know, it'll tell you what time it's going as well. So, you know, it breaks me down in divisions and it's got different patterns as well, you know? So if you don't know how to put rolls and stuff like that into your hi-hats, um, this is definitely a solid plugin for that. Um, it's got pitch down and pitch up. So you can pitch it up and pitch it down. This works with any MIDI controller. So don't worry about what MIDI controller you have. As long as your MIDI controller works in your DAW, it will work. Um, I made a little demo as always. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the demo um, before I go through all the hi-hats because there's a lot more I haven't showed you that's just, just fire about this plugin. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this demo. Of course, it's not all the way mixed down. Excuse my face. I have like an absence tooth or something. So it's a little swollen. All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I put together for you guys. I'm just going to highlight this little section so we can repeat this little section over as we uh, mess with hats. Let's go ahead and hop back in the hats. Um, there's some things I still haven't gone over. Like this right here is a randomized button. So if you hit this button, it's gonna randomize everything in the plugin um, from your hi-hats to your different layers to your envelope. And then it's also going to randomize everything here in the gain, pan, pitch, and filter designer. Um, so as you see, if I push randomize, it's gonna randomize the way that these things are. Um, if we come back over here to the first page, um, you can easily push this button right here. And this is going to take you to all your different hi-hat samples. Um, so as you can see, there's different genres from EDM, the glitchy, hip hop, live, lo-fi, Percy. I don't know who Percy is, but he's got some fire hi-hats, R&B, shakery, and trap. Um, so again, it's got all kinds of different hi-hats that you can use. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit one of these trap ones. 
So one thing to keep in mind is that whenever you switch to a different hi-hat, um, it's going to keep the same effects and the same everything else that I have on there. So let's turn off that bit crusher for a second. So, you know, it sounds like a typical trap hi-hat. Um, we'll go to a different one. And so these are tight too. these patterns. Um, I want to make sure I stress on these because these are really nice if you don't know how to put a roll in or something like that. So I just wanted to make sure I went through all those real quick. Um, there's also a nice feature over here. And so if you come over here and you hit this um, search search icon, um, it's gonna take you to different like presets that he has. So he has hi-hat presets for you. Um, and so that's also a nice feature as well. So let's go ahead and go to this trap one. And the one, one I really like is this um, E-Me right here. So if I push this one, All right, but now if I push this and I make it um, pitch up a little bit, so like, you know, like let's say I pitch up. That's solid, you know? So that's super fire. I um, mean, he's got a bunch of different like little presets that you can use, you know? Um, and a lot of them sound different. Um, so it's not just like your typical hi-hat pattern. It's something that he's designed in there for you. So that's for lo-fi, um, industrial. Let's check this one out. But you can hear like the static in that one. So it gives it like a lo-fi feel as it has that extra texture and everything like that going on as well. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about some of these um, effects up at the top. So it has this reverb and with this reverb, you know, you can turn it up, you can turn it down. Obviously, it's got a room percent and all that stuff. So obviously, the more you turn it up, the more reverb -y it's going to be, the more you turn it down. You know, you can turn it all the way down to like 2%. And so then next to the reverb, we have delay. Um, so obviously this is a nice feature to have in some hi-hats as well. So with the delay just like this, it's going to sound like this. But you can get to messing with the delay and you can get it to sound really cool. Um, you know, we can turn it down even more of the time. You know, so on those rolls, it's really nice as well. And then you can turn the delay up if you want. So that's very fire as well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off for just a moment. We're gonna turn reverb off for just a moment as well. Then you got bit crusher over here. So if you wanna kind of, I don't wanna say destroy your hi-hats, but if you wanna make them super aggressive, um, you can make your hi-hat go from sounding like this to turn on a bit crusher. You know what I'm saying? And then you can turn that up and you can make it sound super gnarly. Um, you can turn the overdrive up on it as well. Sorry about that. My apologies. Um, loud sounding alert. <laughs> I guess it's a little late for that. Um, and then next you have your high pass and your low pass as well. Um, so you can mess with this too if you want to. You know, obviously mess with... So you can barely hear that, but it sounds like fireworks in the background. Um, and then you have your gain, you have your tune, and you have your width. Um, so we'll just mess with width. And then if I turn it down. So I don't know, if you have headphones on, you can definitely hear that difference. You can definitely hear that difference. So now I wanna show you guys how to use hats as like a MIDI. So let's go ahead and hop over here into our pattern. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything else but the hi-hats. 
Um, and so now when we look at hats, um, when you draw it in, basically your divisions are going to start right here. And they're just going to go up. So as long as you paint is for how long that division is going to play. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back up to the tempo of the actual beat. Um, so like, let's say um, I erased all of this and got rid of everything on here. All right. So now we can start from scratch. So we can decide if we want our hi-hat pattern to be this pattern right here. You know, I like that pattern right there. And then we can decide, let's say I want to throw a roll up in here. So let's throw a roll like right here. You know, and then we can paint the rest of the hi hat right here. You know, and then start another pattern right here. And then like, let's say, I want to use this right here. So then we paint this here. Maybe I'll put that like right here. You know, and then we'll just copy that over. Shift C, Control B. So now we have a hi hat pattern. So now let's say we want to pitch our hi hats up or down. All you would have to do is paint on um, whichever corresponding note is for pitch up or pitch down. So. So that's a pretty nice feature as well. And so then you can pitch it down too as well. And then you can like, you know, paint, pitch up, pitch down, whatever you want to do. So that's pretty neat as well. Um, so what I'm going to do for the next part of this demonstration is I'm just going to extend this out so I can show you guys uh, something that's another pretty neat feature in this plugin. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go um, back to um, kind of like the macros of the plugin. Um, so let's go ahead and hit this button right here. So now when you're in like pitch designer, what's very dope about pitch designer is that you can make it pitch up, but like you can make it steadily grow on the pitch up. So if you do something like um, change the design and make it slowly go up and change this, you know, you want the, the speed to be one, one. Um, now listen to how it's going to pitch up. So that's pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you can pitch it from 12 or however, however high you want it to go, you know, however many, um, notes up you want it to go. Now that's fire. Um, and then you can also like go like six if you want it to be six instead. Um, and then another thing that's nice as well is like this pan designer. I think the pan designer is super nice because you can basically, you know, obviously pan um, the hi hats from left to right and you have a smooth option so you can make it smooth panning or you can just make it a harsh panning from left to right. Um, and so we'll just mess with this a little bit more. And then you have intensity for how much you want it to actually pan back and forth and how fast. And then you also have over here, um, you have your gain designer. So basically, you know how you like to have your 
hi-hats not all be the same velocity because it gives it a more realistic feel. Um, you can change however many steps that you want to do it. So if you just want to do a basic and do it like every other one, um, you can basically, you know, make one lower than the other. And then bam, it'll just do every other one for you. But you see how trippy that sounds too, as well as it's panning back and forth. Um, so it's going super hard. So we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. Um, there's also a filter designer over here. Um, so there's different kinds of filters. Uh, you know, you got high pass, you got low pass. So obviously you can draw um, the filter as you would like, um, and then it'll cut out whatever frequencies that you don't want it to be in the hi-hats. Um, so let's actually go low pass. So like, let's say I have, um, you know, it's going to be at 20,000 uh, kilohertz. So it'll sound like this. All right. And so then once we start pulling the filter back, it's going to sound like this. So again, you can do a whole lot to change the way that those hi-hats sound. Um, let's go ahead and hop back over to the main page. I know I've been all over the place with this plugin. My apologies for that, but this plugin is absolutely fire. Um, you can just do so much with it. It's just got me all over the place. Um, so the next thing we got is layers right here. So let's turn layers on. I'm gonna turn this one off and I'm just gonna go through the different layers so you can hear the layers you can add to the hi-hats. So that's one of the layers, the next layer. So you can hear the vinyl crackle on that one. Here's the next layer. That one sounds kind of like a tape machine, maybe reel to reel. I could be wrong. So it's just adding noise to, you know, to the sound for you to give it a little bit of a unique sound. So um, I would definitely recommend this plugin. The introductory price is $20. Um, I don't feel like that's a bad price at all for this. I feel like if you need help with plugins, this is by far the best plugin on the market for hi-hats, by far. There's not even a close second. This is by far the most fire plugin for hi-hats on the market because you can do so much with it. Like, as you can see through the demonstration, I've done so much, so many different things. You can get different sounds. It's got a ton of different hi-hats. He's created different presets for different, uh, you know, different sounding rhythms and all that stuff for you guys as well. Um, you can add noise, you can add reverb, you can add delay, you can pan them from left to right. I mean, you can do so much with this plugin that to me, it's a no brainer. I would definitely recommend scooping it up. Y'all know how I am. I'm not going to cap on, especially on the paid plugins, but $20 for this. <laughs> yes, sir. I would definitely recommend going to get it. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, uh, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys this time as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.